So we had a phenomenal delegation trip to China. We visited four cities. We started in Shanghai, then we north to Zhengzhou, Beijing, and then we flew to Hong Kong as well. And we were warmly welcomed with a delegation of roughly 20 business and civic leaders and had every day probably at least you know, 10 meetings with as well corporate leaders, government officials, just to understand the current economy in China mm -hmm. and as well how are Chinese companies looking at the U.S. of investing, expanding, and as well attracting new American investments in China. A lot of Chinese companies are looking at the U.S. to expand. But they're asking themselves, how can they do it successfully? And where are they still welcome? So we were a delegation from the Midwest, mm -hmm. a bipartisan delegation. So we're Democrats and Republicans and yeah. business leaders. We said, you're welcome in the Midwest. Because we want to make sure that we have Chinese investment and companies continue to expand. Because ultimately, all this discussion about some of the security concerns are only focused on a very small sector of economic activities. Okay. But the majority of sectors are not impacted by that. So we want to make sure and send the message, you're welcoming Chinese companies' investments, and you also have to be very thoughtful which partners you select when you come to the United States. And as you look at the most recent investment, Goshen, we're building a massive battery factory in Illinois. So our governor and the political leadership has shown that we're welcoming Chinese investment. So Clayco is now a 40-year-old company. We have grown significantly. We're still privately held. And, and we believe we really want to help Chinese companies who are looking at the U.S. to be a great partner because we understand how to build big real estate projects here, how to work with the communities, how to work on the political level. So I think it's important for Chinese companies to have a U.S.-based corporation and true partner who understands the local particularities. Another key takeaway is you have to travel around the world to continue this dialogue, not just in China and other countries as well, because just sitting in your own office in your own country and writing things is not helping to understand the other person's perspective. And I'm looking forward to my next trip to China next year, because I'm always learning something, always meeting new interesting people. I'm always impressed by the, the Chinese people I meet, how hard they work, how smart they are, how they're really thinking very long term. And I always believe whenever you meet someone, you learn something.